Now, Johnson is one of the latest Q's players to bolt for the NBA draft. This trend not as common in football, where players are forced to stay at least three seasons. Syracuse running back DeLon Carter thought about leaving school early after last season, but he comes back for a senior year to headline a crowded but talented backfield. In our series of previews of the 2010 Orange, our Ryan Coletti goes through those carrying the rock. The big three of DeLon Carter, Antoine Bailey, and Avery and Collier are back for another year on the Hill. And just like last year, head coach Doug Marone will not look to feature just one. So my philosophy has been that you know, when you have the, the type of backs that we have, you start running one and the defense kind of starts to hone in on his style and all of a sudden you put a change up back in and all of a sudden now the angles that they've been taking the previous plays and things that have gone on, you know, now puts them in a little bit of a bind. Whoever gets on the field, they're going to make plays. Either it's me, DeLon, or Antoine, or anybody else that, you know, has to fill our role. Marone says that because each back has their own strength, it makes a three-man rotation an effective strategy for keeping opposing defenses on their toes. You know, I, I don't want to go in and say, you know, one person's going to be featured. We have three backs that are productive in, 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 in different areas of what they do. We have, you know, DeLon Carter, who's our power guy. We have Antoine Bailey, who's the shifty guy. You know, then I think Avery Carter is the most, most balanced guy out of all of them. If either back is having a great game, though, don't expect that to stay the same, says running backs coach Tyrone Wheatley. If a guy has a groove and he's in a great rhythm, it's almost a shame to pull him out just because we have a quote-unquote feature back. Wheatley is in his first year of coaching the offense's deepest position this spring, and his effect on the players is already being seen on the field. They, they, they come with an attitude, they come with a whole new swag to them. You know, they're really aggressive guys, and you know, they, they're just doing everything possible. They're doing a real good job out there. They, they, they run right into you. Like, you know, if you go in and thud them up and try to take them on, they, they come right into your chest. No, they're scared of nothing. You know, they, they're ready to go. We got a lot going on with us this year. The offensive line's coming together, receivers making plays, and quarterbacks doing as well, as long with, as long with our buddies in the backfield. Confidence mixed with unpredictability could be a very dangerous combination for the orange running game come fall. Ryan Coletti, Citrus TV. Mr. Ohio, 11 touchdowns last season, and he rushed for more than 100 yards in four of the last six games. Avery Collier, a highly touted recruit a couple years ago, showed off his potential with that 60-yard TD run late in the season against Rutgers. And Antoine Bailey, he rounds out the backfield. He's a change of pace guy, the 5'8 junior, primarily the third down back last season, and his versatility very critical for the Cuse. He had 20, 27 catches in 2009, the third most for returning players.